a question for all of you, and one of you can answer. Um, was this kind of a breakthrough game? I mean, it seems like one of your better games of the year. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we've had a week to plan for them. Um, what happened in Oregon was difficult, but we knew we had to keep fighting, you know, so we came to practice this whole week, and you know, we planned for them, and we was able to come out and get these W's. It was huge for us. Prince, you started off with uh, three uh, uh, three pointers. Uh, you know, how, how, coach said you had a, a really good practice this week, uh, a few practices. Uh, how did you feel coming into this game? I felt good. You know, um, Coach Cronin this whole week he's just been on me about just being ready to shoot and um, just being confident in my stroke. So, I mean, I knew coming in, if I got a clean look, I was gonna let it go. So, it's just confidence. No. Chris, you had a career high uh, in points tonight, but that one play about four minutes ago, the shot clock expiring, got that, that bounce over the front rim. Was it, what was going through your mind there, just the game as a whole? Uh, just get a shot up. We were on offensive rebound. I think we, we beat him on the glass, I think, by 10. And a lot of those were all offensive rebounds. So I, I was just thinking, get a shot up. You know, I think we had like Cody and Jay Gillen at the time. So we had two big bodies in there. I was just thinking, get the shot up. You know, collapse. That's a shot. You know, I, I believe I can make. So um, I was just trying to get it on the rim. You know, I got three points. Chris, were you guys aware that you had missed a free throw until like the final minute of the game? Oh, no, not at all. Because <laughs> <laughs> then you went through that whole like you missed four or five, yeah. and you, you, you know you got back. You guys got back on track. No, right? I just knew I had missed a free throw, and then I smoked two in a row. Uh, man, that's great. No, I didn't even know that. Chris, uh, were you guys as a team looking for your shot more aggressively than I'm saying in previous games? It's like you were more, the whole team was more aggressive in shooting the ball. Um, we knew that they were, you know, a packed team on defense. So we knew we had to move the ball, move people. You got to attack the lane, you know, get people to help so we can get a teammate open. And uh, that's, what we're, that's definitely what one of our emphasis was tonight, uh, to attack the paint so we can get people to help and get a teammate open, so, yeah. Uh, hi, man, you had five rebounds the first five minutes. Coach was talking about how they're big physical team, good at rebounding. Uh, what, what kind of went into preparing to come out strong on boards like that? Um, pretty much just going into practice, knowing that I was gonna have to be physical and I was really gonna have to box out and try to get rebounds. Uh, the key to the game was rebounding, so, you know, going in, that's what I wanted to do. That's what I did. Chris, this was a pretty big game for you guys. Not only were you bouncing back from the Oregon game, but to have a ranked opponent in in Pollock Pavilion. How, I guess, important is this to helping the team go forward? You guys obviously have had some a little bit of a rough season, and you guys have some of the young players in terms of building on this one. Uh, tonight was definitely a confidence booster. Um, it shows, you know, us and everyone else, we can hang with, you know, some of the best. Uh, we went from playing a top 10 team in Oregon, you know, that was a rough game, you know, to come to the top 25 team at home, uh, and we got a really big win. Uh, we got some young guys, but they don't play like we're young. You know, I made it four clutch free throws at the end.